Prior to the start of every match this weekend, the NWSL and its clubs joined in nationwide celebrations of Juneteenth with a performance of the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing. The NWSL wishes all a happy Juneteenth. I think that has a lot to do with remaining unbeaten in the last three as well. See his demeanor on the bench. I mean, he'll get an arrest face if he has to. Kaiser puts one towards net. Second chance, blocked away by Nair. Almost her first goal with Kansas City. Trying to juke out the defense. Off to Mays. Hamilton taps it in. Again, Kansas City strikes first. Who else but Kristen Hamilton? She scored the winner in the match, the last match, and the one before that. She scored in the last couple of games as well, and not much Alyssa Nair can do about it. Off the cross, it's in! A beautiful header home. Kowalski finishes. Fantastic header by Amanda Kowalski at the far post. Gave A.D. French absolutely no chance whatsoever. And that's what you want to do when you come into a team. You're looking to make your name and be popular amongst your teammates. Well, score an equalizing goal. And Mal Pugh looks to turn the tides here for Chicago, and she does. Mal Pugh with six scores for the Red Stars this season. And her team, with two unanswered, takes the lead. Well, to be fair to Mal Pugh, she won the penalty. She got there with that speed of movement and body in front of the defender. AD French can't believe how they've gone from 1-0 up to 2-1 two, two, down so quickly. And again, have a look at her right foot here. She gets her right foot just in front. And the moment Desiree Scott makes contact, the referee can see that Mal Pugh's got the advantage. She's got the ball, so as soon as she goes down, that's going to be a penalty every time. Let's see if these extra practice days come in handy. Kaiser. Rips a shot! Welcome home, CC Kaiser! That's a fantastic strike from CC Kaiser. Brilliant. She's come close already in this match twice. Alyssa Nea has stopped her from scoring, but that one, nothing the USA goalkeeper could do about it. That one was right towards the top corner from CC Kaiser. Well, there's a final whistle. Very, very close from both sides, but nobody comes up with a victory. However, both streaks remain intact for Chicago. It's seven straight games without a loss for Kansas City. It's four 